what makes us unique. We're sleeping here in the car. Makes perfect, perfect sleeping right there. Here's your food, don't forget your proteins, water. A couple of tips. So in here I of course have, yeah, that's it. We're ready. All right, good morning. This is my sleeping arrangements here in the car. Got pillow, blanket, heater, radio. Um, but that's how that's how I travel. I think the coolest thing I have to offer to the world is uh, the mode in which we travel. What makes us unique? Well, I travel, as you see. How's that? <laughs> So I travel, as you see, uh, in my 740 BMW. Uh, it's a 2000 E38 model, best BMW ever built. So as you see, uh, in the back, there's a backpack typically in here, I put electronics. Down there's food. Down here's the food, don't forget your proteins, water. These clothes right here are neatly hanging. Usually I hang them right here. Um, in the trunk I have suitcases. Uh, and traveling in a BMW, you know that you need a bunch of fluids because they might escape. So I travel with this bug spray. I also travel with a jug of distilled water. For those of you who know BMWs and their cooling systems, it's a lot of fun clean the windows and I also travel with the uh, power steering fluid and oil extra oil never know blankets to sleep on at night the seat actually if if, re if all the stuff rearranged the seat the seat reclines perfectly and makes for a great sleeping arrangement towels I travel with towels and I put them in door windows just to cover up the sides Typically I have sunshade, I uh, didn't this time. So in here I of course have hair product, toothpaste, deodorant, vitamins, some spray. They don't want to travel smelling like that smell. Vitamins, shaving things. Um, for my coats, I like to hang them. A couple of tips. With traveling with the car, it's, it's nice to, uh, it's nice because you're able to bring your whole wardrobe. So my jackets usually hang, so they're not all, all destroyed and wrinkled. You travel on wheels, but you gotta travel in style, always the case. Slide them in. That's it. Don't try not to overload your back seat so you can be able to see when you drive. Currently we're in Solvang. And we're sleeping here in the car because we haven't met anybody. <laughs> we don't have any friends. Uh, but sometimes we should stay with friends. So honestly it minimizes the cost for lodging and makes travel a lot more possible. Because uh, you start traveling and then uh, you eat out, you spend money for gas, you know, water, any type of drinks, whatever. Uh, and lodging is kind of, I found be a good way to solve, a uh, good way to save money. Take a look in the beauty. This is it right here, all reliable. This is a plaza in Solvang. Uh, usually we try to find some type of bathrooms uh, that can be used. Uh, so there's, there's one bathroom here that's coded, code locked. So we just kind of use it sometimes. Uh, just to clean up a little bit. Usually we travel, what, two days? We're on the road without showering. And that's okay, and then you get somewhere, shower, and life is good. Yeah, makes perfect, perfect sleeping arrangement for, uh, at the very least, two bodies. Maybe even three, maybe even four, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, stay tuned for more tips. Yeah, that's it. We're ready. Uh, we got ready, brushed our teeth, cleaned up a little bit, and now uh, our morning routine is always wake up, clean up, coffee, and then we hit the road. And that's kind of how we travel. So all the videos that you see uh, posted have been traveled in this BMW. And uh, with the simple layout, I'll probably do more videos about how it is we pack and what is it do we bring exactly. But in a nutshell, that's how car road trips happen in the car.
pretty easy. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.